Hello and welcome. This time we are going to talk about characteristic values. This time the first thing we are going to talk about are, are things to analyze this here. The system. We are going to analyze the system. How are we going to analyze the system? Well, if we want to know what system we are dealing with, we do a test. Because honestly, in reality, most systems are much too complicated to describe them with just a mathematic model alone. So why not use a test? How do we test it? One possibility, one widely used possibility is to do a jump here. So I will not use, I will not use the controller. I just have it this y at one value and then I'll make a jump and have a look how this here is going to react. This is what we are doing. Correcting variable jump, set point jump or correcting variable jump. So we are performing correcting variable jump. Stellwertsprung in German. Okay, correcting variable jump. Let's draw. Let's draw something. Let's draw something. We have t, and here we have y from t. This will be constant over a period of time. And then we make a jump. It's not defined how big this jump is, but we make a jump. At one point in time, we're making a jump. Here. And now, we have a look on our regulated variable. This will also have some value here. And with this jump, it's going to change. This was the base value. And if it's a stable system, it will reach somewhere an end value. And how it gets from the base value to the end value will define what we have for a system. So we are going to grow here. And then hopefully we will then reduce and then we reach the stable end value. This is what we would expect. Yeah? Draw it is a little bit thicker. Pencils. Maybe we have a little bit overswing here, but okay. Yeah. One characteristic point is we're going to accelerate and there is somewhere a point where we stop to accelerate. Yeah. And here we've got a tangent. Yeah. Well, here we've got a tangent. And now we are looking at two different times. Yeah. We're looking at this time it's called TU and we are looking at this time it's called TO TG why 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 we are doing this this is basically the dead time of the system, let's call it. Yeah, we do something, and then it takes a while until our system reacts. And this is basically the time it takes for the system to reach the new value. That's, of course, it is a little bit longer, but it's something about it. So we have here a delay time and a rise time. 
What does these two times tell us? I can tell you, these two times show how good or bad this particular system might be controlled by any type of controller. If TG compared to TU is bigger than 10. So this is 10 times bigger than this. This means easy controllable. Okay. If we are somewhere in the area between three and ten, yeah, then it's let's say controllable. still controllable yeah? and if we are somewhere in the area below 3 yeah? so if TG to TU is more than 3 yeah? this means this is on the 3 time here 1, 2, 3 woo, ah, we are at the limit yeah? this is hard Hardly controllable. Notice something? There's not written not controllable. Hardly controllable. These are heavy. It's not easy to control. It's really the opposite of easy. Uh, it's, however, if we spend a lot of time, then it might even be possible. Correcting variable jump, these are the things we can read out of it. Okay. This delay time, the gain time, yeah. rise time, gain time. Yeah. If the rise time is 10 times bigger than the, than the delay time, we are fine. Yeah. Because then we can still react. Yeah. It delays a, li a little bit, but then it acts gentle. It then is an area where it is controllable, and then if this is really quite long compared to this, yeah, it's already getting hard yeah, because we do something with our controller and we don't do not see really the result. Yeah. And then if we see the result, we are almost there already. Yeah. So this is why it's hard to control. Correcting variable jump. Yeah. Once we did this, yeah. And then we know, okay, we have adjusted this, we use the whole control loop, yeah? and then we can do a set point jump. Yeah? Here. Reference variable jump. This will be our next video then. Yeah? What we can read out of a reference variable jump. Then we can read out some quality data. Yeah? Here we analyzed the system. Next time we read out some quality data for our control loop. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.